we get much more detailed, closer tolerances, and better finishes than sandcasters get. It's a ceramic mold we're starting with, and the first coat of ceramic that we put onto the part is a very fine, detailed, picks up all the details in the wax that we coat. We've had instances of tools transferred to us because other foundries have been unable to do it. Hi, I'm Taylor Seymour. I'm sales manager for Lambo Thermic Corporation located in Brewster, New York. We make investment castings. All the stainlesses and tool steels, alloy steels, cast alloy, manels, we pour those. But you can pour titanium and aluminum as well, the copper alloys. It eliminates a lot of machining that has to be done on a part. If you have a part like this, trying to machine that out of a solid uh, piece of metal is going to be very, very costly. On this particular part, all that gets machined is this surface and the two faces. At our plant, we do all kinds of runs. We do from one, two, five, ten, up to five, ten thousand parts a week. So it's a process that lends itself to both high volume and low volume. This is actually a prop for a one-man boat. Uh, this part of it gets machined off, it gets a hole put through it, and it's attached to a uh, five horsepower engine that goes in like a kayak. There's no other way to get this type of detail relatively inexpensively. I mean, this is probably a $20, $25 casting, and to machine that would be astronomical. This is something that uh, we did the machining in-house, as well as the casting. Um, this one has a little bit more than 20% uh, machined on it. It's almost 80% machined on it, but you're able to get all this detail that would be very expensive to machine. This is an assembly we did, but all the parts in it are 17-4, stainless steel. This piece is part of a platform for uh, trains. When you come into the station, the platform's high, and they'll fold down this uh, cover to go between the train and the platform. This is part of that mechanism. We lost a lot of work to overseas. Uh, I don't lose very much anymore to overseas. I've actually gotten some work back from overseas in the last couple of years. It's generally quality and delivery. Yeah. And they find out it's not as cheap as uh, it looked on paper. We do CNC, we do heat treating, we do send stuff out for plating, electro-polishing. Uh, we can handle just about anything you need done.